Hey, welcome to Training Tuesday. So for today's video, we're going to continue our series on vineyard worship values. Now, these are four H's, four H words that we've kind of summarized in this season, in this chapter of our movement for the vineyard and really for the states. Every you know, This is our, our version of what's helping us uh, think about the center of what our values are, what are important, and more importantly, how those values... Uh, become behavior. So what are some ways that these values flesh out on the ground with our teams as worship leaders and with our churches? So our good friend Casey is helping us through this. Um, he's been teaching these values for years, and we're going to continue today with a vineyard worship leader is humble. Number two, humility is at the heart of who we are and what we do. So flesh this out for us, Casey. What does this mean? Well, I mean, these these are one of these big Bible words, right? So it's it's this is kind of an easy sell to say that a that a vineyard worship leader is um, is humble, um, and kind of the classic picture of this in the worship ministry is the is the worship leader is invisible. So uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll extol uh, that image, and then uh, next week I'll I'll throw rocks at it. So uh, so you know I think some of these some of these things have a a both you know kind of two ways to look at it, kind of a both hand thing. But just speaking from this position of humble, uh, you know, we live in a culture that exalts the stage, right? So, you know, the, the, the musician, the artist is a, um, primary, it, it, you know, yeah. is, is a primary thing. So, uh, you know, and even from a functional leadership standpoint, stages are in the front there, you know, there, I know there's churches playing with other modalities sure. in the round and such, but in general, uh, people that walk into our our gathered worship times, there's a lit, you know, pre-COVID, of course, yeah. post-COVID. Uh, there's a lit stage with some people on the talented people on the yeah. front doing something. So that's that's uh, our cultural, um, our the our, the shape of what that is culturally is. This is a concert, and I listen, and and yeah. uh, and this, these people perform. That's obviously not what we're doing in congregational worship. So whatever we can do to tear that down and not make it about us. Obviously our worship ministries are, you know, worship is towards God. It's for God. It's not, you know, it's not about, um, again, I'll throw rocks at this later on, but, uh, you know, again, that idea of, of the invisible worship leader. And, um, you know, I think of John the Baptist is a classic, uh, it's, I have John, uh, 330 here. Uh, you know, when, uh, when John the Baptist's disciples come to him and say, you know, Jesus is baptizing more people than you. And, you know, you, you know, you have this competitor now and, uh, you know, uh, John says he must become greater. I'm, I'm, I must become less. So that's, that's the classic, um, uh, you know, kind of scripture footnote for us here. I mean, there's plenty of others, but that just, uh, the idea that we are here to serve, we're not here to promote ourselves. Uh, and, and in many ways, we're, we're trying to get out of the way of ourselves and, and um, not lead with, with our egos, I guess. Um, you know, this can look different ways to it, ways we can kind of lean into this humility is where we, you know, it's an, another classic vineyard values, uh, you know, raising people up, equipping the saints, giving it away. So that's, that's, a, that's a real practical way we can, we can sort of lean into humility is by, you know, raising other people's, so giving young people the platform, giving, you know, just giving, or just sharing the platform with other folks where it's not just about our show or who, uh, or who we are. Another, another one is, uh, you know, again, a classic vineyard thing is minimizing hype. We're not leading spring break churches, you know, that we're there just to kind of, you know, bring the energy up in the room. Uh, we're there to, um, serve the people. We're there to minister to the Lord with our gifts. And, uh, and, and in many ways, uh, kind of take a take a few steps down ourselves. Yeah, in this place of humility we're we're ultimately even be, between us and the congregation or the pastor or the elders, we're all to God, we are all in equal footing. Like we are all coming to worship. Right. We are simply just leading the journey. So, uh yes, we are on an elevated stage with lights and people are facing us just like a concert, but in our mind we know as a worship leader that is leading a kingdom-minded worship that we are advancing the kingdom. We are moving together on a journey. Like we're all in a boat. We might be in the front of the boat, you know, pointing right or left, but we are all moving towards that. So right. training our bands, our people that, hey, even though this is up here, we are actually together. We're down on the floor. So uh, really practically, are we always up on the stage? Right. Right. 
Humility right. would say, well, no, sometimes we're on the floor. Sometimes we're running sound. Sometimes we're changing diapers in the kids' church. Um, S- sometimes you know, we're in the congregation worshiping. Just on our week yeah, off, that yeah. we would have weeks off. Like Other people would look over and see us and be like, wait a sec, I thought you were the cool worship leader. Oh, wait, we're just here together. Oh, you're right. modeling worship. Right. You have your family. You know, you have a cup of coffee, or you are, you're kneeling down before the Lord, or you you're modeling the very thing that you were telling me right. what to do last week. That's right. You know. That's so right. this place of humility. Well, I think I think another thing that comes to mind is, you know, we do the stuff of church. We're not, you know, we're not just, um, you know, you know, kind of rolling in and what do you say, uh, rock and walk, rock and walk. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's a Michael Bryanism. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're praying for people. We're receiving prayer. We're helping set up. We're, you know, yeah. we're, we're, you know, putting our shoulder to the plow. Uh, we're, we're, we're not in any sort of elite uh, zone of our own. Yeah. You know, granted, we need to take care of the things we need to take yeah. care of with our in our specialties. But uh, um, you know, we're we're part of the congregation as yeah. well. Yeah. So like Jesus, who didn't come to be served, but to be a servant, to pour out his life for all, you know, our, our good friend Rick Olmstead, pastor one time at a retreat, he brought a bunch of rags and he gave us all rags in this worship leader retreat. And I was like, oh, okay, this is my calling. This is what we're called to do is right. to serve, is to wash feet, is right. to, man, I mean, yeah. And to the extent that maybe we get the more hyped position even more so that we continue to tithe, we right. continue to give, right. we continue to pour out and serve in some lowly places and not advertise it. You know? Well, one more thing that comes to mind, and this is very practical and very worship ministry focused, is sometimes humility means singing that song that we're completely sick of, or, or even maybe even the song we hate, Yeah, because <laughs> we know yep. it serves the moment and we know it serves our people well. Uh, I mean, hopefully that's not the majority of what we, what we do, but there's yeah. certainly moments where we need to, to lean away from our preferences and personal tastes in order to serve well. Yeah. It, I mean, humility ultimately pushes back against the authentic value, which authentic is good, but if authentic is, I just want to play my songs or the things that make me comfortable or look my voice to shine, then humility oftentimes says, well, no, I'm going to surrender that. So a truly authentic Christian believer, vineyard value, kingdom-minded worship leader is going to be coming humble and open-handed, you know. So our four kingdom values is, number one, we come hungry, expectant to the Lord. Number two, we come humble. Hope that's helpful. We'll see you next time as we continue to walk through these values.